Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2018 on a 68 plate. Uh, it's a Ford Transit Custom. It is the top of the range limited model. It is an L1 short wheelbase, a H1 low roof. Uh, it is one keeper from new with just short of 36,000 warranted miles on it, including full maintenance pre print from the lease company that uh, it's arrived from. Um, overall good condition, uh, obviously Euro 6 model, so that means any of the congestion zones, whether they be Birmingham, Bath, uh, obviously uh, ULES and LEZ zone, uh, and Bristol congestion zones, it's all um, all good for those. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's give you an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying, and then you get an idea. Hopefully this will help you make your decision. Bit of a wonky aerial up there on the roof, look, so... <laughs> we've nicely electrically taped back up so i think we'll have to replace that won't we so but there on the roof you've probably got a better view of it than i have but looks straight and tidy for a roof coming down onto the windscreen of the van there are no major stone chips on it that are going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to mot time uh, in fact to be fair it looks pretty clean really there's not a lot on it full stop uh, coming down onto your bonnet, uh, bonnet is all pretty good, I have to say. Uh, no major stone chipping. Uh, you will always find little minor bits. It's a little bit of dirt. That is a little bit of dirt. I hope that is what it was when having just wiped it out of the way. But um, anyway, bonnet, um, yeah, all pretty good. Straight, tidy, no major stone chipping on it at all. Front grille, all good. Front of your front bumper, all good coming around passenger headlamp unit that is all good obviously being the facelift it's got these cool and funky drl daytime running lights when it's running uh, and then coming down passenger front bumper corner no scuffing there at all it's all clean and tidy front fog light as you can see all good your front parking sensors so this has both front and rear parking sensors on it uh, driver's headlamp unit that's all good as well Driver's side front bumper corner, all good, no scuffing. The fog light unit that you see there, that's all in good working order as well. Uh, just looking down the driver's side of the van, um, to be fair, really straight and tidy, no uh, major dings or scratches or anything like that. Um, it's all uh, looking good. Uh, now, front alloy wheel driver's side is actually pretty good condition. Um, you see you've got a locking wheel nut on there as well. Uh, you've got a continental tyre on the front. Tyre tread depth is as you can see in the photos. Just so that you know, as part of our 110 point PDI check, um, your tyres will come under that. Uh, anything less than three millimetres we replace, your legal limit being 1.6 millimetres, and a new tyre ranging anything from seven to nine millimetres. Uh, driver's side front wing, that is all good. Your mirror unit and indicator, integrated indicator, that's all good. Uh, mirrors themselves are all good. Your door glass, driver's side, as you can see, that's unmarked. There's no scratches on it from it going up and down or anything. The door itself, as you can see, is all in good order. Uh, your handles are all good. A little bit of scratching behind the handles, a bit of tea cut and probably get rid of that as well. That's just a little bit of dirt that we've got there. Uh, and then um, lock, as you can see, is as it should be, no damage on it. Uh, obviously, we can supply you with the uh, Transit Custom driver's door lock upgrade if you want to. That's not a problem. Looking down your door edges, all pretty good. A couple of minor touch-ins, but nothing major. We'll get those sorted out before it goes out the door. Uh, getting down low, looking at your seals, as you can see, we clean them properly. So even your utter lowest, your, your uttermost lowest uh, seals are all clean. Your uh, rubbing strip going down the side, which is colour coded, has a little spider on it there. I won't disturb him, but that's all it is. Um, there's no damage on there. The quarter itself is actual facts in good condition as well. Alloy wheel, driver side rear, again, uh, it's got a couple of minor marks. You've got one there and just one there. You've got a Continental tire. Uh, that has plenty of tire tread depth on it, as you can see there. Uh, silly little things, look at our level of prep. Look at those lovely clean arches, they're all nicely dressed. 
Um, mud flaps, you've got them front and rear on this vehicle. Uh, we do prep the vehicles properly. Hopefully that is something that you will see in the photos. Some van dealers don't even touch them, don't even valet them, but we do. So uh, they are, everything is cleaned properly. Just looking down the driver's side from this angle as well. Um, all pretty good to be fair. Um, driver's side bumper corner, as you can see, is all good with no scuffing on it. Your rear light unit that you can see here. All good as well. Coming around to the working end of the vehicle, as you can see, it's a rear barn door model. Uh, all pretty straight and tidy, really. So your upper brake lights, they're all good. Handle, all good. Probably do with a little touch in there. We've got a little bit of a scratch there on the rear door, to be fair. I think what that needs is a good T-cut and probably a very fine touching uh, is the best way to deal with that couple of little minor marks on the door edges here which again just require a little bit of a touch in and you've got a little bit of a mark there as well which some of it might t-cut some of it might not um, but overall the rear doors are pretty good uh, rear bumper so as you can see your reflectors in the rear bumper are good you can see you've got reverse parking sensors and then your black protective strip on the top of it it's in pretty good condition, it's not too abused. Opening up your rear doors. Obviously both door stays work properly. As you can see, they're both stood out there nice. Inside your rear doors, minor marks, but nothing major. Both ply lined, as you can see. Obviously something sprayed up on some of the um, ply lining. It's, um, yeah, it's nothing doesn't come off on your hands or anything so it's it's whatever it is it's dry um obviously custom limiteds come with this uh pretty handy kind of black resin floor which helps protect your floor got your factory bulkhead there a couple of minor dings in your bulkhead um your opening hatch uh, which gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seats is there ply lining in the back it's all done a job but it's all got plenty of life left in it And up there on the roof as well, hopefully you can see. All clean and tidy. Uh, light unit this side, passenger side rear, that's all good. Passenger side rear bumper corner, all good, no scuffing. And then just looking down the passenger side of the van, um, again, no dents or dings to point out to you. Straight and tidy little van, really. Mud flaps again this side. You do have alloy wheel this side, which has a little bit of polish. I think we've got a little bit of polish dropped onto the wheel nut there. That'll have to come off. Um, and you do have a Hancock tyre on this side, and that has that type of tread depth on it. And then upper rear quarter, that's all good. Sliding door rail, etc. that's in nice condition as well lower rear quarters all good sliding door that's all good uh, just getting down low looking at your sills so we do just have just here uh, little two little dings on the sills they haven't broken the paint or anything but they are there so warts and all we point them out to you your rubbing strip going down the side here that's all in good condition we open up your sliding door as you can see that slides back nicely looking down in between your door shuts you can see they're nice and clean door seals etc all good and then your entry seals etc this side are all good there's your load hatch here you just pull that up it's on a magnetic so it just stays up there and that gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seats, which as you can see is all lovely and clean. So minor scratching on your bulkhead and stuff. You know, they do a job, don't they, ultimately? But overall, I would say it's in good order. 
Uh, driver's, uh, sorry, passenger front door. Door glass is all good. The door itself, nothing to point out to you. Pretty straight and tidy. Your door handles, etc., all good. Door edges are all good. A couple of minor touch-ins required, but nothing major. Door cards. So, passenger door card, as you can see. All in good order, clean and tidy. Inside your door pockets, they're all clean and tidy. There's your central locking button there. Your uh, bonnet release is here. So we'll pull that up so you can have a look under there. But your entry sills on your passenger side, as you can see, the painted parts, the plastic parts, they're all good. Looking at your rubber flooring as well. That's all good. Glove box, all good. Looking inside your glove box, there's your fuel filler. And there is your locking Wilmot key. Passenger airbag, you have storage on top as well. Your headlining, this side, all good. And then coming down to your passenger seats, they are clean and tidy as well. Nice black cloth trim in them. So all in all, that's all pretty good. I'll run you through your driver's side in a second. Passenger side mirrors, upper and lower are all good. Your mirror cover, that's all good as well. Passenger front wings all good. And then passenger alloy wheel, a couple of really minor marks. So we've got a couple of marks there, a couple of small minor bits around the edges. Continental tire on that one, you have that amount of tire tread depth on there. Uh, that is probably coming close to needing changing. So we'll have a look at that as, as I say, when we, when we prep it. So we've popped your bonnet inside. If you look at where your forward badge is, put your hand under there, directly above it, just move your little yellow handle to the left, that opens up your bonnet. Having a look at your bonnet, your bonnet bolts and your wing bolts all look original paintwork on them. Just an idea of whether anything's had any panel work off. Your coolant is the right, correct coolant color for Ford. And as you can see, there's no contamination there clean and tidy as well there's your fuse box there as well just having a look underneath there hopefully you can see there doesn't appear to be any oil leaks or stuff like that to be fair i don't think we've ever repaired an oil leak on a custom uh, oil filler is here your dipstick is that yellow bit just down there your power steering fluid is in there your brake fluid is in there and your screen wash is in there. But overall, you can see it's got a nice, it's very nice and clean and tidy under your bonnet. Right, driver's side. Driver's side door card, clean and tidy. Inside your door cards, clean and tidy. Central locking, front and uh, well, lock, uh, unlock and lock. Obviously, covers the back end of the vehicle as well. Uh, electric windows. We have electric folding mirrors. Look at those door shuts. Nice and clean, aren't they? Your entry sills. You got a little bit of wear on your black. Um, yeah, this little strip, uh, wear strip that they put on has got a little bit of wear on it. Um, but your entry sills flooring rubber pedals etc they're all good your driver's side seat squab uh, that's all good armrest as you can see uh, height adjustment for your seat is on a ratchet system up and down and then this one does the back of your vehicle uh, the back rest of the seat i should say we have auto lights you can adjust your headlamp levelers using this button here your dashboard illumination is adjustable using these two buttons here Front fog lights, rear fog lights, all the central cup holder there. We have a 12 volt and a USB power up there as well. And then these customs, they come with a quite a nice, cool and funky, like funky, chunky, funky, chunky leather multifunction steering wheel. As you can see, no excessive wear on it or anything. That's all nice. We have cruise control and speed limiters on here, volume controls and mute button on here. And then on this side we have uh, we have a bit of voice activation going on on this uh, and then answer the phone and decline the phone call uh, search buttons and this is for your computer system so if i fire up the vehicle which i think i will need my foot on the clutch we fire it up does a systems check 
uh, telling us that the driver's door is open. Let's close that, shall we? Uh, so apart from we haven't got a seat belt on and the handbrake is on, there's no other warning light on on the van. And as you can see, 35,914 miles. Uh, as I say, this computer system here will run you through your computer system on your dashboard, giving you your average MPG and your range and all of that malarkey. You can get it to do quite a few things on here. Um, so yeah, it's just worth having a play around with, isn't it? stuff we check before they go out. Um, indicators are on this stalk, your main beam is push it away from you, if you want to flash anybody pull it back towards you um, and then the right hand stalk is for your in uh, your wipers, wiper washers pull it back towards you, I'm not going to demonstrate that now, it's got a nice clean windscreen on it. Uh, intermittent uh, wipers are adjusted using the inner button there. Uh, if you want to turn your parking sensors off, potentially because you may fit a tow bar and put a trailer on the back of it, then you press this button here. Um, these new customs, new uh, shaped customs, come with this really quite nice touchscreen um, system on here. So, um, yeah, as I say, um, <laughs> it's just seized up on me on the. On the uh, there we go. Oh, is it back on? say so it's just worked perfectly fine but anyway it's a touchscreen system uh, it gives you Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music uh, Wi-Fi yeah you, you might have to do a little bit more homework on the whole Wi-Fi front um, but as I say um, sound Bluetooth Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music also you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well if you plug your phone in using the USB port uh, with the lead going to your phone uh, it'll give you those two options there as well. So you don't need a built-in sat-nav. It'll work it off your telephone, download you like your Waze app or Google Maps and all that sort of stuff, and it'll work off there perfectly fine. Climate control system is here. So obviously air conditioning. Um, sorry, it's an air conditioning system uh, rather than a climate control system. So air con, you've got heated seats, driver and passenger. You've got a heat quick clear, heated front windscreen. You can adjust your temperature using these dials on here and your blower fans using this bit on here. Um, and then hazard warning lights are on there. We have a 12 volt power there and a USB power there as well. Um, and then you've got all your uh, DAB, uh, FM and AM, and as I say, your Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music. Um, but overall, it's nice condition in here. Look, in, look down between those seats, uh, the level of prep that we go into, we make sure that there are no McDonald's chips down there for you to munch on. It's all clean and tidy uh, that is the difference that is the difference between your van dealers check them out that's why there can be variations in the prices and quality of vehicles but there we go this is a one owner from new 36,000 mile vehicle um, 70 odd photos on our website which is vanstoday.com we are vans today Worcester offering nationwide delivery part exchange and finance uh, feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Well done, you just made it through 18 minutes of me droning on, but hopefully that gives you a good perspective of the van. Cheers, bye.